So it's one of these skills that it's like if you want, like, I'm one of the things that I've I'm not good I'm not good at yet, but I have gotten better at is recognizing when it's a good idea to drop a fighter for spotting. Even if it's not necessarily a great idea to drop a fighter for, you know, intercepting planes or whatever, when it's a good idea to drop a fighter for spotting. Um, that's a skill that I find I have to I have to play a lot of carrier to learn. This is this is the point that I keep trying to make to people on 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 YouTube. I had a guy arguing with me on YouTube a, a few weeks ago about how carrier was easy mode and it was so stupidly easy, and I was kind of going, "It's a completely different skill set, right? It's not that it's not it's, it's not there's not easy or hard. It's you have to learn a different set of skills and a different way to a different lens to look at the game and the game board through when you're playing a carrier. It's just it's just a different mindset of I'm here to make sure the enemy team knows where you know my team knows where the enemy is as best they can i'm here to make sure that um we can we can secure kills before they get away so that low health battleship can't escape on 3000 hp run away and um and and heal back up right um okay this is standard battle so for me for a carrier player standard battle is better standard battles tend to last longer he says watching his team melt like butter um so yeah let's see i've got None of the destroyers on their team are really AA threats. They have one Cleveland, and the Kansases are something that I probably will want to, will want to avoid. The other battleships I ought to be able to molest a little bit. The Normandy's AA is decent. I don't believe Doria's AA is anything to write home about. Nuremberg doesn't frighten me. Let's rock. That's interesting to hear you say that, Classic. Most destroyer players that I engage with prefer domination battles. Tell me why you prefer standard battle. That's a good point, Classic. That's That actually makes a lot of sense. Do I feel like AA builds on battleships are worth it? Um, honestly, no, I don't. I feel like AA builds on cruisers are worth it. Um, I do not feel like AA builds on battleships are worth it. If you were to try it, there are a handful of battleships that it might be worth messing around with it on. If you like, we can go experiment, right? Um, I can grab an Iowa or something and we can try it out. Uh, that's probably one of the only... One of the only carriers, I mean, one of the only battleships, like the American high tier battleships, I would consider it on, right? It's not amazing. It's one of those things that's like, it's not amazing, but I'd at least consider it. Now, my AP bombs want to go give the Bismarck some love. Unfortunately, the Bismarck has a Kansas nearby, which makes me very sad. There's the Amagi. There's the other Kansas. Where are their Lippin' Destroyers. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go give it a shot. Maybe I'll bust out my Kansas. Which I actually should be grinding, but I'm lazy and typically don't do these things. Okay, so the Moss took a little bit of damage. That's okay. Okay, we found... There's the Amagi. There's the Cheatland. Where are their Destroyers, kids? Welcome to Jurassic. Well, he won't let this moss go, will he? Okay, somebody's out here. Somebody's out here in the middle. Okay, there's the Yang. Our Benson is probably going to die now. The Yang will smoke and hydro him to death. Or he's going to derp into torpedoes. They're both going to derp into torpedoes? This is going to be mutual annihilation. Nope. Our Benson is just crap. Amaze balls. This feels bad. I've been out here three minutes and I haven't spot. Okay, there's the Shear. Okay, there's a Shear on the flank. Okay, well. Oh, no, trust me, Classic. I get it. Finding destroyers is not as easy as everybody makes it sound. They're like, oh, just go find the destroyers. I'm like, yeah, it's not that simple, guys. Trust me. You're trying to find a needle in a haystack. I Believe me, I know. I'm going to slap this Nuremberg around a little bit. Oh, look who I found. That's a terrible drop. <laughs> that was just garbage drop. Here's the good news, though. We found the moss. That will make my life a little easier. Now I know where to, now I know where to shoot. Come on, reticle. 
Oh my god, islands! Ah, oh, so stupid. Fine. We'll do it the hard way. I'm finally gonna get a good drop on this guy. Alright, let's take out a new squadron. This team is determined to lose. They're gonna find a way, kids. They're gonna find a way. Alright, we know where the Moss is, we know where the Shira is. I'm gonna go beat them up for a bit. The Bismarck is now out in front of the Kansas. That gives me a little bit of hope for the AP bombs. This Moss is gonna be dead before I can get to him, so never mind him. So let's put those back and take the AP bombs out for the Bismarck, who has unnecessarily exposed himself. MZ Sport! Kerry, guys, thank you for the follows. This other flank is going to need shoring up very soon. And the Ismail took two torps that had been spotted for a light year. Hold on. <sighs> this team... Absolutely mind-blowing. Ooh, he's gonna feel that in the morning, kids. He's gonna feel that in the morning. Let's go, let's go, let's go kill secure the Nuremberg. I'm gonna pre-drop because I should only need one pass to kill secure the Nuremberg. Well, sure, Castle, why not? You make it sound like this is some kind of abnormal thing. I don't, I don't understand. Hey, fellas, y'all might want to pay attention. You're all over here. Where's the Nuremberg? Show me the Nuremberg. Show me the Nuremberg. Yes, Nuremberg, I'm here for you, buddy. Put your little fighter plane up. You're trying to run. Okay, that's fine. I should only need one pass for you. I'm gonna have to take planes over to shore up the other flank. Come on! Yes! Alright. We needed that now. Unfortunately, it's a Kansas and a Cheatland, which I'm not super excited about, so... Hmm. Alright, their Bismarck is going to go. That feels good. Um, I need to put some air cover on our Zona, because he is going to die. Uh, you son of a bitch. Oh, please. I'm feeling sneakers now. When you have the box, you can give us English lessons. Until then, this man goes to Tahiti. I feel like the zone is going to die no matter what I do. Hey guys, y'all might want to pay attention to these guys over here. Now, ordinarily, I mock, I mock ships that haven't turned their engines on. Right now, that's me. I haven't turned my engines on. But some of that's because they're having to push into me. So it doesn't feel necessary. Let's see if I can get a run on this Kansas. I'm not convinced that I can. I think he snuggled up too close to the island. Let's find out. Yeah, he snuggled up too close to the island. That's fine. That's fine. It is what it is. Um, We know where the Yang is. Let's go, fun let's go hunt him down. Kansas is going out. We actually have a ship lead for the moment. Fighter airborne. I'm gonna have to start moving. All aboard the Midtown Express to hell.
Now, we know the Yang is up here. We're not quite sure where, we just know he's here. Yeah, this should help. There's the Cheatland. The Amagi does not scare me much. Perhaps he should, but he typically doesn't. Hold a moment. Is he going to try to bomb me? That would make me giggle. Hang on. Got a new fighter coming up soon, which means his will be gone in seconds. Yep. That's what I expected. Fighter leaves. Let's go find the Yang. There you are. Get wrecked, Yang. Get wrecked, Yang. I should have sympathy for this guy, but I don't. He did something not smart. And he paid the price for it. <clears throat> Alright. Let's take the torpedoes out and go, har go harass the Imagi. Yes, he has good torpedo protection. But I'm convinced I can beat him up. He's far enough away from the Cleveland and the Kansas that he's kind of isolated. Torps, come with me. Not a great damage game, but I have, a, I have a lot of spotting damage. That's worth something. Cleveland has finally figured out he needs to go back and play defense. We're going to go harass the hell out of the Amagi. And actually, I'm actually going to be able to push my advantage a bit. Let's, let's push the Amagi. The Amagi's leaving. So we're going to turn around and get closer to him. Milo, Big G, thank you for the follows. All right. Team has finally figured out it's time to be a little proactive here in terms of playing defense. Fighter airborne. Moggy's trying to turn around. I want all... I need all my planes to survive for this next run. I want to land a flood here. Hopefully I drop those in advance far enough and out. I want to land a flood there. Please. Pretty please. Nope. Bummer. I think I can sit the Amagi. Think I can sit the Amagi? I think I can sit the Amagi. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm glad you like the stream title, Mike. All right. We have a nice lead. We're capping. They're under a lot of pressure. I'm going to keep putting pressure on this Amagi. Carrier's finally figured out he has to go play cap defense. Let's move up into here. Let's go play mid-board. Amagi's turning back. Let's see if I can sit the Amagi. The answer appears to be no, but we're going to try one more time. I'm really actually proud of that bomb drop. I would not have thought that I could get that many bombs on target having to make that sharp a turn, but American dive bombers are sexy that way. And I've started this drop way too early. That is a... So I went from being really proud of one drop to really, like, not proud of the other. Right there, maybe? 
Well, I got three pens out of it. <laughs> Let's take the torpedoes out again. That was a terrible drop. <laughs> That's terrible. Let's keep harassing the Imagi. We don't really have much else to shoot at at this point. The Dory and the Normandy are way out of position. The Imagi's an easy pick. Yeah, Enterprise's torps are strange sometimes. Gabe! Thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. I could also be harassing this Andrea, I suppose. Yeah, let's go up here. Let's go up here and prove providing some air cover for these guys. I think my team's going to be able to kill this Amagi. Let's go provide some air cover for the Edinburgh. Although he, Edinburgh seems to be doing okay. Um, and let's see if we can kill this Andrea and or the Normandy while we're at it. Can't tell the health on either one of those right now. But neither one of them should have amazing AA. Edinburgh's flooding. That feels kind of bad. He's found a nice gap there, though. Okay, I have no line on the Normandy from this angle. Where is the Andrea Doria? There he is. Okay, that guy we can probably harass and kill. Let's give it a shot. Were you Big G? Oh yeah, they were at the Zona. Man, you got hung out to dry on that flank, man. Everybody died, and then I was like, I need to go give him some air cover, and then it was like, oh, that that didn't work. Not always fireball, it depends on the country. Oh, last plane? Bummer. Well, let's try it anyway. Right there, I hope. Alright, let's try the AP bombs. I'm in kind of a compromising position here. Let's go throw some more fighter cover over these guys. Oh, I hit him, and I got the flood. Yes! Excellent. It's not going to stick, though. I should bring the more torps back. But we need to get fighter cover over these guys very, very quickly. Come on. Edinburgh is doing what he can. It's not going to matter. All right. Now we got to give some to the Moss, who's kind of hung out to dry up here. I'm in a bit of a compromising position now, actually. i got to be very careful. Their Normandy's basically FK. Let's see if I can kill the Doria. If I can kill the Doria, I can probably then just do take my time with the Normandy. Yeah, let's kill the Noria. Let's kill the Doria. Well, he's putting up a decent amount of flak, isn't he? I can sit at Eldadoria. That's good. One more sit and I can wipe him out. So let's chase him down and kill him. He's a maneuvering little... He maneuvers quite well, doesn't he? Come on, down to my last two planes, come on. Come on. Ah, rockets it is. <laughs> rockets it is. One thing about Enterprise's rockets is they're pretty easy to use. Yeah, they're pretty easy to use. Yeah, no, and so... The Germans typically refer to ships as he instead of she, and it gets even more awkward. The Russians do, depending, also do the same, depending on the name of the ship. I don't think you can stop this, Doria. Pretty sure I've got you here. Yep. Hey, the Normandy woke up. He's been AFK for a while. What's up, Zath? How you doing, buddy? And drop. Yeah, we love, I love dropping rockets on French battleships. <laughs> it's, it's like free damage. Fighter 
Oh, Confederate. All right, let's see if we can get some more fires. Can we get another fire? Yes, triple fire. Oh, feels good. Feels good, baby. All right, give me those. Give me those. Uh, give me those sweet torpedoes. Because he's been burning. He's still burning. He's still burning. So you see what I you see what I mean about about standard battles though. This game's gonna basically go to time. Um, I've had full twenty minutes to damage things, to look for opportunities to um, to damage damage enemy ships, and it's not an amazing damage game. But like there are times it just it takes time, man. It takes time to build up a decent damage total in a carrier. It's very there are carriers you can if you can stack the dots right, you can rack up a lot of damage quick. But man, it's tough. Interesting. I haven't heard that, Mike. Okay, there you go. I'm pretty happy with this result. Enterprise has always been one of my most comfortable carriers to play. Like, when I just want to play... When I just feel the need to play a carrier, this is the ship I'll probably reach for, right? She just... It's Enterprise, for God's sake, right? And, and she's just always had... What I like about this ship is she has effective tools to deal with a lot of different things, right? The rockets are good against a, a very a wide variety of targets. The AP bombs are really good against a wide variety of targets, and you put a lot of them into that reticle, which is handy, right? And then the torpedoes, the torpedoes do work, right? If you if you need to lean on the torpedoes, they're there, and they do good work. I really, really do like Enterprise. Jervis played a great game, though, especially from, especially from uh, mid-tier. Well done to him. In Kipton, it's the Enterprise. <laughs> that's right gabe that's right gabe the uh those were the i-400s as i recall 